Now, the Bismarck Larks returned home for three games in two days thanks to a rainout back on Monday. And a good crowd for the makeup game from earlier today. The Larks at the plate, runners on the second and third, but a called third strike shuts down the threat. And then the next half inning, we go see Corey Treas in a jam with the bases loaded, but he'd get the strikeout swinging to end the inning. However, the Larks fall 19 to 8 in the early game, a much tighter game in the nightclub, still tied in the eighth inning at three apiece. Now we go to Corbett Field where the Sabre Dogs hosting the Western Nebraska Pioneers first inning action. Nate Brenzer Mendoza good on the hill, getting Cole Kaler swinging on the first down and then ending the top half by freezing Cole Gamble with a good fastball. Dogs coming to bat and then with a man on Mason Dennison hoping to get the offense started, but instead lines out in a double play on the return throw and then Taylor up next. He did a rocket back to the mound off the foot of Hunter Drevis. Covers in time to get Taylor first, but nothing but zeros on the board after one. But the Sabre Dogs, hey, they score eventually. They get the win 5-2 out in Pierre. The Badlands, would, with a late rally, that one's tied up right now. And moving to some Legion scores, late games from the Capital City Tournament. Hedinger sneaks by with a 5-4 win over Surrey. Surrey, however, holding a lead over the Caps right now, 2-0 in the fourth. And out of the West Fargo Tournament, the Man and A's earn a split, beating home West Fargo Vets, but then falling to Dilworth, Glendon, Felton 6 to 2. So a lot of action. Once again, uh, uh, you, you think there's not a lot of sports in the summer, but hey, <laughs> it just keeps coming and coming, and I enjoy it. I know you got a lot to look at for your top five plays tomorrow. A lot to sift through. <laughs> a lot to sift through. Thanks. <laughs> Looking forward to it.